Today we're going to be assembling the Crucial Series 4 post rack, one of the strongest in the industry, supporting up to 3,000 pounds. It can be bolted to the floor or left freestanding. This rack is made in the USA using cold rolled steel and is ROSE and TAA compliant. Now we've unpacked the Crucial Series 4 post rack. You got your slides, your horizontal braces here, rack rails, more slides, a, a shelf set for your bottom, as well as the hardware necessary to assemble your four post rack. We're going to start from the bottom up. First things you'll need is you'll need a slide. You want the front slide. Front slides can be identified by the adjustment holes here. Okay, so you'll want the lower horizontal brace. Now the way to identify the front versus the rear of the brace is that you'll see these two uh, braces here for the rack rails themselves. This will be the front. You'll also notice that the leveling feet will also be in the front and the holes will indicate for the rear for cable management, cable routing and so forth. Okay, so we're first going to take that and we're also going to grab our rack rail. Okay, and obviously this is a long rail, but simply we're just going to take the front, positioning our square holes facing outward or facing towards the front and we're just going to simply slide the brace into the unit there, okay? And you can just simply set that down there, right there. Then you're going to take this uh, adjustment slide, and again, this will allow you to adjust the depth of the rack, and we're going to take that in, and we're going to simply slide this in here. We've got two bolt holes here, and then we're also going to have one over here for the rail itself. And grab some 5 sixteenths, and we'll thread the 5 sixteenths in to these holes. Positioning all three of these pieces together like this, we'll start and threading these th uh, 5 sixteenths in here, we'll start to get everything aligned. Then you'll take the hex nuts and fing uh, apply them finger tight at this point, and we'll tighten everything else. We'll tighten everything else when we're done. Then you're going to take two of the 1032 bolts and you're going to align those holes, slide those in there and take, these are nylock nuts, which will help securing the smaller bolts into the rail. And that'll take care of this one side. And again, just getting those finger tight. They won't be very tight to begin with until we tighten them down with the tool. Then we'll go ahead and slide the unit over onto its side like this. We'll get that threaded in there. And again, everything is kind of a loose at this point, so that kind of helps get everything aligned. And we will put the hex nut on there, get that finger tight. And then we will take our two remaining 1032s and you'll position them right here. And this is for the adjustment slide rail. And again, they'll just slide in there and put the nylock nuts on. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and flip the unit over, lay it down like that, and we'll go ahead and get the other side. Now we're going to focus on assembling the top front. You're going to need another horizontal brace as well as two slides, adjustment slides. Just identical to the bottom. The only difference is we're going to use the top horizontal brace, which will be the one with the logo. Okay, you can see that the braces are identical. Cable management is going to represent the back. The logo is going to represent the front. Since we've got the front of the rack facing the ground right now, we're going to position the brace just like this. So the key thing to remember here is that you're going to slide these in and you're going to look to position the rails in aligning the holes. You've got holes up here and holes on the other side as well. We're going to go ahead and slide in our adjustment rail right there. The best thing to do is take your 1032s and go ahead and position them in. And again, this is all identical to what we did here on the bottom. It's just doing it two more times. Once that's done, you'll repeat it on the other side. Now we're going to assemble the back side of the rack. 
The back side's identical as the top. You're going to have a logo on the horizontal brace at the top. The only difference is your slide adjustment rail will look like this. You'll have eight holes versus 28 holes. These slide adjustment rails are designed to allow you to adjust the depth of your rack. Okay, now we're done assembling the back side of the rack. Now we've got to put both sides together. The best recommended method for a one-person installation is to put both sides onto the side as you see here. So the best way to start with the top here is to go ahead and put the adjustment brace or slide right there and connect them. Now you may have to maneuver from top to bottom to maneuver these pieces together, but then we'll go ahead and get the two slides set together. So I've already determined that I need the maximum depth for my rack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these first two alignment holes and the last two on the two adjustment slides and I will go ahead and pop in 1032 just to get those two aligned. And again, with everything loose and or just hand tightened, it makes it a little bit easier just to maneuver them in there like that. Now I'll go ahead and move to the bottom slide and do the same thing. Okay, so the last thing we want to do before we lift the rack up and do the final tightening and everything is we want to add the center adjustment rails. Now these rails will add to the stability of the rack. Uh, this rack is rated up to 3,000 pounds provided it's bolted to the ground. So these ra uh, side rails will add to that stability. There's already pre-drilled holes here in the center of the rack. We're just going to lay the center rails down and adjust them out based on our predefined depth. And we'll just simply slide in the 1032 screws here. Now that we've done the bottom, we'll go ahead and do the other side and we'll be done. Before you lift up the rack, you want to go ahead and install your leveling feet. Now the best recommendation here is to go ahead and screw in the leveling feet all the way in and then once you raise the rack, you can level it out by using an open-ended wrench. Okay, so we're done assembling the entire rack. Next thing we need to do is lift it up, go ahead and tighten all the nuts and bolts, and then we can begin using our four-post rack. Now that we've got the rack vertical, we need to tighten down all the nuts and bolts. The tools that you will need, a socket with a half-inch socket, as well as a 5 16 and two box-end wrenches. One's a half-inch and one is 3 8 Well, there it is. Our Crucial Series four-post rack is now assembled and ready for use. For more information, visit us at rackmountsolutions.net or contact us at 1-800-352-6631. We're experts at rack design. Our job is to make your job easier. We're focused on you.